Hey guys, so I just want to do a really quick tip on how to change elements, um, the or just change the color of elements uh, just based off of your selection. So um, here we just have some lights, uh, a ceiling, and some some duct, and in here, uh, and this is going to be in the Revit uh, sample project, so just the default one that comes with uh, Revit when you download it. So say I want to change the color of these um, lights and we could, you know, add a parameter to this type of light and then say uh, using a filter, um, grab these six lights. Maybe we just add a filter or a, a parameter called area and then we can say area um, 1B for this one or 1A for this one. And then 1B for this one. Uh, and that may, they may work, but it, it's a simple way if you just want to kind of visually represent something pretty quickly. A real easy way is to select the items and then just save the selection. And we'll say area 1B or 1A. And then we'll come in here and we'll select these other lights. And we'll say this is area 1B. Press OK. And then now to change the color, if we just go into visibility graphics, so I'm just going to do VV or VG, whatever works for you. And then over here to filters, we can then add. And if we close the rule based filters we can see down here we have area 1 a and then area 1 B so with 1 a selected I'll press OK then up here we can override the pattern we'll say solid fill and then we'll change the override to be um, maybe it's a, a red that we want I'll come down here. Yep, that's the same one. So we'll red, select OK. And then I'm going to click OK real quick just to show you. So it's been updated. Go back to visibility graphics, click VV, filters, and we'll add the area 1B now. So we'll come down here, OK. And then now we'll grab that. And we'll override the pattern solid fill and then maybe we want a green we'll press ok ok again and then ok so now we have two um, selections that of the same lights uh, and the type and we've now separated them by color and we could you know for this could be for a variety of different elements whatever it is or and they, they could they could be multi uh, category too um, uh, as well, you don't have to just stick to just one type of element and you may want to do this to visually represent things in a different way. And this is a quick way to do that. If this, if these items, if they aren't iterated too much, like, uh, if the, if there isn't lights being, uh, added to one side or the other that needs to be in one selection, um, or the other that may be a little bit more difficult and you may want to use a parameter for that so that uh, when when a light for example is added in the middle of these two um, and then you give a parameter let's say area is the parameter name and then you say area 1a then it's going to be added automatically and the filter should be applied just fine but for these manual selections that's not the case you're going to have to go manually add it to that selection but if it's something that's going to be stagnant it's just going to stay the same you may want to select it so that you can use it and then just try to <clears throat> whatever it is that you're showing um, you know to visually represent it uh, uh, in this way um, you do have that option with selections so hopefully this helps you it's just a quick tip um, please like share comment uh, let me know if this does help and thanks a lot for watching